Hey, future tech wizards! Welcome back to our Techtastic channel. Today, we're journeying into the incredible world of natural language processing, or NLP, where computers learn to understand humans. Ready to decode the language of machines? Let's dive in! Before we dive into the present, let's take a quick trip to the past. The story of NLP begins in the 1950s with a man named Alan Turing. He proposed a test now known as the Turing test to measure a machine's ability to exhibit intelligent behavior indistinguishable from humans. This seed grew into the field of NLP, a branch of artificial intelligence combining computer science and linguistics to enable computers to understand and manipulate human language. Now, let's uncover some NLP magic tricks known as key terms, starting with tokenization and stemming. Picture this. You have a big delicious cookie of a sentence, and tokenization is like breaking that cookie into little crumbs or tokens, each representing a word or a piece of a word. This helps the computer digest the sentence more easily, understanding each word's role. Stemming is like a language gardener trimming words down to their roots. For example, running, runner, and ran all get trimmed down to run. This helps the computer recognize that these words are all related. Next up, lemmatization, named entity recognition, and sentiment analysis. Lemmatization is like a smarter version of stemming. It knows that are and is are just different forms of the verb be. Pretty clever, right? Moving on, ever played a have you game of tag? Well, named entity recognition is like a game of tag for words. It identifies names of people, places, organizations, and more in a sentence. And sentiment analysis? It's like an emotion detector for text. It can tell if a sentence is happy, sad, or angry. Imagine a movie review saying, this film made me jump with joy. Sentiment analysis can tell that's a positive sentiment. And there's more. We've got machine translation, which translates text from one language to another. Like turning hola como estas into hello, how are you? Have you ever heard of the Georgetown experiment in the 1950s? They created one of the first machine translation systems, translating Russian sentences into English. Although progress was slower than anticipated, later developments in the 1980s revitalized the field. Then there's text classification that categorizes text into predefined groups like sorting your toys into bins, and speech recognition that converts spoken language into written form. So if you've ever used a voice assistant, you've used speech recognition. Finally, we have chatbots that simulate human conversation and natural language generation, where computers generate text independently. A great example is Microsoft's chatbot Xiaoqi, which has over 660 million users and can engage in empathetic conversations. It's like having a robot friend who always knows what to say. And speaking of chatbots, who can forget Eliza from the 1960s? Eliza was a fantastic talking robot invented in the 1960s by a clever man named Joseph Weizenbaum. It was like a computer therapist that talked to people and tried to help them feel better. Eliza would ask many questions and try to understand people's feelings, just like a friendly person would. Eliza was designed to work like a special kind of therapist called a Rogerian therapist. This type of therapist is known for being kind and listening carefully to what people say, and that's what Eliza tried to do too. Though it did not understand the conversations it was having, it was one of the first programs to pass the Turing test, fooling people into believing they were talking to a human. It's a fascinating piece of history that paved the way for modern chatbots. So, there you have it. The fascinating world of natural language processing. From tokenization to sentiment analysis, machine translation to chatbots, NLP is revolutionizing the way computers understand and interact with human language. Thanks for joining us on this techtastic journey. Remember to hit the like and subscribe button, and until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.